As more and more people take advantage of flexible access to their pension savings, the number liable to pay an annual allowance charge is also rising each tax year, particularly so from this year because the Money Purchase Annual Allowance, MPAA, has been slashed from £10,000 to just £4,000. We need to talk about how this reduced limit is going to work. So who's affected by this? Importantly, it's not a blanket limit on the amount that can be paid into anyone's money purchase arrangements. The MPAA is only triggered in seven specific circumstances, of which the most common are taking an uncrystallised funds pension lump sum, UF+, plus, or setting up a flexi-access drawdown fund and taking any income from the fund. Taking tax-free cash doesn't count. Where an individual accesses their pension flexibly, a £4,000 MPAA applies from the following day and operates alongside the £40,000 standard annual allowance for the current tax year and all subsequent tax years. Any money purchase savings made prior to their MPAA start date will not be subject to the 4K limit. The legislation tells you how to work out the proportion but will be tested along with all other pension savings against the £40,000 standard AA. Once the individual is subject to the MPAA, whether they are liable for an annual allowance charge, and if so the chargeable amount, depends on whether or not they've exceeded the MPAA in the tax year. Where the individual's total money purchase pension input amount, or PIA, for the tax year does not exceed the MPAA, their total PIA to all pension arrangements is simply tested against the 40k standard AA. Where the individual's total money purchase PIA does exceed the MPAA, you have to compare a their total money purchase PIA in excess of the MPAA with their total PIA in excess of the standard AA. If A exceeds B, the individual's chargeable amount is A, otherwise it is B. The tax due on the chargeable amount reflects the individual's marginal rate of tax relief. This is referred to in the Finance Act 2011 amendments to FA 2004 as the appropriate rate. Before, it was a flat rate of 40%. You might be wondering about carry forward of unused annual allowance from the previous three tax years. Carry forward can be used to increase the standard annual allowance in B, but crucially cannot be used to increase the money purchase annual allowance in A. What about scheme pays, i.e. getting the scheme to pay the annual allowance charge? Bad news again. If the member has gone over the 4K MPAA, they can only invoke the mandatory scheme pays requirement where the £40,000 standard AA has also been exceeded although scheme pays could be used on a voluntary basis in these circumstances. So the upshot is that many more over 55s who remain active pension scheme members after flexibly accessing some benefits are going to be liable for an AA charge unless they carefully monitor their inputs. The scheme administrators, burdened with complex reporting requirements to both HMRC and their scheme members, there is some good news. An automatic pension saving statement for the member is required only where their pension input amount under the scheme is over 40k, or if they are subject to the MPAA 4k. If you've followed me this far, well done, but I'm afraid there's much more to consider. Just click on the link for more detailed guidance, for example on the MPAA and how it interacts with the tapered annual allowance in the Aries pension system. MPAA is a hot topic and advanced planning is essential.